हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अलके मी ऑनलाइन क्लास आई गेव द होमवर्क यस्टरडे होप यू हैव गॉन थ्रू द एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स एप फॉर यस्टरडे टॉपिक एंड यू हैव रेफर द लिंक गिवन फॉर द एक्टिविटी टू टेस्ट द एक्शन ऑफ सलाइवा नैन द क्वेश्चन वॉज आज द क्वेश्चन वॉज रमन्स मदर डज नॉट अलाउ हिम टू टॉक वाई इटिंग वाई वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड इट एंड द आंसर इज Raman's mother does not allow him to talk while eating because if he talks then he may have coughing or he may get the hiccups or he may feel the choking sensation it is happening because when the air is taken through nostril it will go in the air windpipe it will go in the windpipe which is also known as trachea and when we take food through mouth the food is going towards the food pipe which we are calling it esophagus now this food pipe and wind pipe they are lying close to each other but they are having a common passage called pharynx means when air is going through nostrils into wind pipe and food is going towards the food pipe there is one place where they are having one common passage here a flat like structure or valve is there which is known as epiglottis when the wind is going towards the pharynx this epiglottis closes the food pipe so the wind will enter in the wind pipe or trachea and when we take the food in when the food reaches towards this pharynx this epiglottis closes the valve of wind pipe so the food will go in the food pipe but if we talk or if we laugh while eating or if we eat food in a hurry then the there is a chance that this epiglottis may not be able to close the wind pipe and the food may go in wind pipe instead of going in the food pipe and this is why we may have coughing choking or we get we may get hiccups before we start today's topic we will just have a quick recall of whatever we have learned yesterday yesterday we learned the digestion of food in the mouth and buccal cavity the process of taking food in mouth or in the body is called ingestion the ingested food undergoes digestion in two parts in the mouth mechanical and chemical digestion in mechanical digestion the food is broken down into smaller pieces by the teeth and in chemical digestion the food is acted upon by the watery fluid called saliva which is secreted by the salivary glands this saliva contains enzyme which are digesting the starch into the simpler substances the starch is broken down into simple sugar this happens in the mouth and buccal cavity in this teeth and tongue play an important role teeth helps to break down the food into smaller pieces and tongue helps to mix these smaller pieces with saliva and then a bolus is formed this bolus is pushed towards the pharynx now what happens to this food that we are going to learn today now here we have learned that food is came here now towards the pharynx and as we learn that while eating we should not speak laugh or we should not eat food in hurry otherwise we may have hiccups or we may get coughing or choking sensation when the food is coming towards the pharynx and then it is swallowed in the food pipe now what happens to this food this food is not directly falling in the stomach through food pipe here the food pipe is a long muscular tube which is in the chest region and it joins the mouth or and throat with the stomach this muscular tube is made up of muscles and the muscles of this tube shows the peristaltic movements these muscles are contracting and relaxing and push push the food towards the stomach you can see in this picture when the food is coming in the food pipe slowly slowly by the movement of the muscles it is pushing the food towards the downward now imagine that this is the esophagus on the upper side throat is there and here the stomach is there 
this is the food particle and when the food is coming here now it will not fall directly in the stomach you can see here the movement of food in the pipe this food will slowly slowly come down and then it will enter in the stomach you can see here the movement of muscles the movement of muscles and how the food reaches towards the stomach now the food has reached in the stomach this stomach is receiving the food from the food pipe at one end and it opens in the small intestine at the other end this stomach is a thick wall bag its shape is flattened u like and you can call it j shape bag also it's the widest part of the alimentary canal the inner lining of stomach secretes mucus hydrochloric acid and digestive juices this mucus protects the inner wall of stomach from the acid and this hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria which enter along with the food and it also provides the acidic medium for the digestive juices to act upon these digestive juices are acting upon the food and they are converting the proteins into simple substances these digestive juices contain the enzyme called pepsin which converts proteins into amino acids in the stomach the food is processed and it is converted into a thick liquid called chyme this chyme is then pushed towards the small intestine now what happens to this chyme in small intestine that we will learn tomorrow do you know that in stomach mechanical digestion also occurs when the food is coming from food pipe to stomach the stomach is secreting the mucus hydrochloric acid and the digestive juices over the food now the stomach muscles are churning the food and mixing it with this juices and the mucus and hydrochloric acid and then the digestion start so mechanical digestion and chemical digestion occurs in stomach also then yesterday we have learned that saliva converts starch or carbohydrates into simple sugar that saliva contains enzyme called amylase this amylase converts carbohydrates into simple substances then today we have learned that proteins are converted into amino acids these proteins are converted into amino acids through the enzyme called pepsin this is the end of today's lecture now we will recapitulate whatever we have learned today today we have learned the movement of food from esophagus to stomach how the bolus of food is swallowed and it is reaching towards the stomach through the esophagus and you know that esophagus is a muscular tube and the muscles of esophagus shows the peristalsis after that we have learned how digestion occurs in stomach when the food reaches to, uh, to the stomach the stomach wall stomach lining secretes mucus hydrochloric acid digestive juices on the food and then the muscles of stomach churns the food along with these uh, secretions and then the digestion occurs here mucus is protecting the inner wall of the stomach from the acid and the hydrochloric acids kills the bacteria which are entering with the food and digestive juices contain enzyme called pepsin which converts proteins into amino acids then we have also learned that saliva is containing the enzyme called amylase which converts the starch into simple sugar in the buccal cavity now it's time for today's homework refer extra marks app for today's topic and then today's question is explain the term tooth decay what can be done to avoid tooth decay i repeat the question explain the term tooth decay what can be done to avoid tooth decay now it's all about today's lecture we will meet once again tomorrow be ready with your answers till then be at home Be safe and keep learning.